This is a design contest that is one of the outcome projects of the Remike effort, an effort to revitalize St. Michael's Drive. Zane Fisher is here to tell us about the Sense of the Center contest. What's it designed to do? What's the goal? Uh, hi, Kate. Uh, well, we want to um, bring a sense of identity to the St. Michael's Corridor. Um, when we uh, surveyed a lot of members of the public and the business community, students, and uh, many bit different types of uh, stakeholders or people who participate in that area, uh, last year as part of the Remike project, we learned that you know, even though it's a vital area full of great businesses and you have the hospital on one end and the university on another end, that people don't really think about St. Michael's as a, as a cohesive neighborhood. It's sort of a pass-through or a donut hole or something like that. And um, certainly people who live there and have kids that go to school in that area um, wanted to feel more like they were part of a, you know, a central Santa Fe neighborhood. And uh, businesses would love to feel like, you know, the city recognizes that uh, as a spot, uh, a hub for a lot of local small businesses. So one of the ways to do that is through design and mm -hmm. organizing and design contests so that um, we can get some, some visual signifiers of uh, what's important in that neighborhood and where people are. And what do you imagine as the sort of best possible scenario at full build out? This, this sense of the center contest is wildly successful. It goes up in many places, in many ways, on, in the St. Michael's Drive area. How does that look in your mind? Well, I mean, I think we're asking um, for designers and creative teams, um, you know, to enter this contest and potentially win some money for coming up with uh, a design. And we're looking at a few specific things to take advantage of assets that the city has, like the ability to put banners on poles, mm -hmm. but also to think a little bit more expansively about, um, you know, how to tell the story of the neighborhood and some street level things for people who are walking or riding bicycles. Um, it would be great if you, know, you really felt like you were entering um, that area, like from the St. Michael's and Cerritos intersection, um, you know, to know that there's a college, to feel like you're in a vibrant part of town. But I think most importantly that you know, we want this to be one of many outcome projects that starts to move us toward a sense of um, St. Michael's as, uh, as a, a more vibrant part of the city, you know, where we have these students live, we have a lot of employees in the um, you know, regional medical center there and Christus and tons of small businesses. And if we can, if the design of that can open up opportunities for um, programming and parklets and a greater sense of vitality there, something maybe could work at, uh, ultimately hand in hand with um, some of the new um, design guidelines for construction and development that the city has worked on, then I think it's, you know, the first step toward um, a sort of exciting, dynamic new St. Michael's Drive and really recognizing the center. Mm -hmm. And that's the, that's the point. It really is an exercise in giving an identity to the center of Santa Fe because it is the, the population center of Santa Fe. Is Close on, to it, yeah. Is on the Santa Fe University of Art and Design, um, according to the 2010 census. That's the population of, of Santa Fe. Um, what are some of the parameters? Because this is now, it's open to all designers. It is. It is. We did try, you know, sort of an early version to um, just get work from students because we have such great talent both uh, here at the Santa Fe University of Art and Design and then, you know, at UNM, down in Las Cruces, out at Highlands. There are some great design departments, um, you know, but I think the students were a little busy to focus on this. So we are opening it up to everyone, um, although, of course, we still encourage students to apply and show off their great work. Um, we're looking at a, a deadline of February 10th. People can find the application at mixsantafe.com um, online, and uh, you can find Mix on Facebook and get information about that as well. And then I think by April we'll have chosen a winner. The exciting thing is that in between, um, when we get the first round of applications, mm -hmm. um, we're going to use um, a Mix event, which happens on the third Thursday of each month, to get some Santa Feans out and choose the designs that they like. And three to five uh, teams will be awarded $500 to um, put together a more cohesive um, uh, proposal of what they'd like to do or maybe some physical demonstrations of the design elements. And then that'll go before a jury of um, city staff and neighborhood stakeholders um, who will ultimately decide 
who gets the grand prize of an additional $2,500, um, you know, uh, just as a bonus. And um, we're looking for people to come up with ideas that in an initial phase would come in at around $10,000, mm -hmm. something that could be tackled. And um, if, say, banners were produced, the city staff would be able to um, uh, put those up and start just to change the, the look and feel subtly of St. Michael's Drive.